Layer 7, the application layer. We're finally to the top of the OSI model. So we talked about physical data link, network transport session presentation, and now we're finally to the part that the end user usually sees, which is the applications. Now when I'm talking about application level services, we're not talking about things like Microsoft Word or Notepad. Uh, this is the layer that the user communicates with the computer. And what we're really talking about here is things like FTP and Telnet, those services those application services that are used by the computer. Okay? Uh, we're going to talk about these application services and service advisement that happens at this layer. So for our application services, uh, these are the services that communicate, that unite the communicating components for more than one network application. So if I want to do a file transfer or file sharing, I might use something like file transfer protocol. If I'm doing email, what application would I be using? Top three, IMAP, SMTP, things like that. These are the type of applications we're talking about. Uh, remote access, network management activities, and client server processes. These are all good examples of things that we're using at the application services, which is all part of the application layer. For service advisement, this is where applications can send out announcements of services they offer. For instance, you might have a printer on the network that goes, hey, I'm a printer, you can use me, right? Um, if you're a Macintosh person, we have a service, uh, a service application advisement thing called Bonjour, which goes, hey, there's a file server here, or there's a, a printer server here. You can use these. Uh, with Windows, usually this is going to be centrally registered with an Active Directory server in the network that then would do those advisements for you. Um, and these state the services that are offered. Generally, these are going to be printers and file sharing and things of that nature. So some examples. Email, like I said, POP3, IMAP, and SMTP. Uh, web browsing over HTTP, uh, domain name service from DNS, file transfer protocol through FTP or FTPS, uh, Telnet services or SSH services for remote administration, simple network management protocol for uh, management of your network devices. Uh, and we'll talk about all of these later when we talk about network devices and ports later or network protocols and ports later. Um, but just to give you some examples of some application layer things that we're going to be dealing with. And that is the application layer.